Hey guys, it's me, Ron Williams. Welcome back to the Ron Williams YouTube channel. Hey, I've got some news for you guys, which is shocking. First of all, for 30 days, I'm gonna try the ketogenic diet. Now here's the grabber, guys. I want you to sit down. I'm gonna tell you something that you would never believe you'd hear come out of my mouth. And that is, I'm gonna try creatine for 30 days. Did you hear that? Creatine for 30 days. I did a video saying that uh, I have never used creatine for the, um, you know, for the, all of the years of my comp competitive life, never used it. But I've done some serious studying concerning creatine, and I'm gonna tell you about it in this video. We've talked about different nutrition plans, and we've talked about eating in combination. We've talked about the, pers the person that's overweight and obese, the person that's thin, how they put on weight, and the person that needs to lose more than 70 pounds, how it is awesome for them to do a ketogenic diet. Well, I was asked a question, can you do a ketogenic diet and still put on lean muscle mass. Well, I did the research, and some of the research is talking about how um, you, can, you can still put on muscle mass. Well, from the studies about a ketogenic diet, it is not the best way to put on lean muscle mass because you're using um, ketogenesis, which is in combination with the aerobic system because the aerobic system you want to utilize the extra body fat that you're carrying uh, for energy and when you do aerobics it means with air and in order to burn the body fat you need this oxygen so as you're doing aerobics your air is increasing and you don't need that Boom, that demand strength, that demand power, that comes from the glycogen that's stored in the muscle. Well, when you go to, into a ketogenesis, you don't have as much glycogen stored in that muscle that comes from the carbohydrate. So what happens is, your body starts to utilize the protein that's in the muscle, break that protein down and create energy so that you can perform your exercises. But the problem is, you don't want the protein from the muscle utilized for the energy. You need the ATP, and you also need the phosphocreatine to actually make that muscle work. So, I'm gonna take 30 days, and I'm going to do a ketogenesis diet, a keto diet, a very healthy keto diet, where there's not bacon, there's not uh, certain you know uh, fats that they're using that are contrary to health, life, and longevity. I'm going to use those fats that like wheat germ oil, avocado oil, your raw almonds, your um, cashews. Uh, no, I'm sorry, not cashews. Pecans. Foods like those that are extremely healthy for 30 days. But for the intense workouts that I want to use, that I want to, that I, that I want to do, and for the exercises that needs that burst, one thing that really helps is the phosphocreatine. So all of the studies that I've done, it's taken all of these years for them to have enough information for me to actually sign off on creatine. It's been 50, I'm 57 years old, never even taken or thought about taking creatine from the studies that I've had from the past. Um, I didn't even want to attempt it or try it, but I've looked at all of the research. We have years and years and years of research. So I'm going to give it a try. If you're under 18, I still wouldn't take creatine because it's part of the Krebs cycle and your body produces it on its own. Uh, when your body is fully developed from what I have studied, there are no real negative side effects of creatine. It's actually a positive in every way that I've seen from the current studies for the last 10 years. So for 30 days, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to try the phosphocreatine using a ketogenic diet.
Hmm, let's see what that turns out to be. And again, the reason I'm doing this is because with the programs that we have, depending on what your goals are, I have you using a different diet. If you're a hard loser, then we have you on a certain diet. If you're a hard gainer, we have you on a different diet. Um, but with the hard loser, we have you on a ketogenic diet, which I've never tried. So I'm gonna go ahead and give it a try. So, because I never want you to do something that I haven't done. So for 30 days, here we go. So in the next 30 days, guess what? You'll, you'll have a reveal and uh, we'll see what, what, uh, what comes of this. But after 30 days, we'll let you know what the creatine does in a test of my own body. So there you go. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. And uh, God bless you till next time.